This is Thomas. He's the number one tank engine on the island of Sodor. And this is his friend Stitch. He's a little experiment for an out of space. Believe it or not, it is. Thomas and Stitch are both really good friends. And they both live on the island of Sodor, aka the North Western Railway. And these are all of their friends. But I am going to tell you what happened when a little green tank engine called Percy first comes to the island for the first time. This is the story of how it happened. Before, there were five engines running the line. Thomas number one, Edward number two, Henry number three, Gordon number four, and James number five. They were a good crew, always being really useful on the railway. Always getting into accidents, but still really useful. I remember the day when Percy first came to the railway. It was a bright sunny day on the island of Sodor, and all of the engines were getting the work day started. When I arrived. Alright everybody, if you know very well what you have to do today. Gordon, you and Knuckles will pull the express as always. James, you and Sonic need to pull a goods train. Edward, shunt the duties. Henry, the flying kipper, and goods duties were Sally. And Thomas, you and Stitch will meet a newcomer. You see, these were the inches friends who work with Dan and the Alan of Sodor. Everyone is proud to work, work on the railway with their friends. But let's get back to the story. A new entrance sir? Oh boy! I can't wait to meet her or him. Come on, Stitch. Let's go. We did arrive at the yard, but there was no sign of my train engine. Whoa, look out! Oh, wow! Sorry, sir. Yeah, we'll be careful next time. I, I, I'm looking for th Thomas. That's the tank engine. Can you, do you know where to find him? Oh, well, you just found him. This is my little buddy, Stitch. Oh, well, Percy, the small engine, sir. I, I'm here to start work. Oh, well, follow me. The fact that you will give you your, your friend to try. Hooray! Okay, sir. Now, Percy, you only cause a top of sir. I'm just Thomas. Okay, sir. I'm Thomas. Ah, oh, Thomas and Stitch. I see you found Percy. Well, Percy, this is Lido. Stitch is friend and your new driver. Oh, thank you, sir. Hi, Lilo. Hi, Thomas. Hi, Stitch. Ready to go, Percy? Yeah! So he aborted Percy and he set off. Come on, Stitch. We need to show Percy around. This is the harbor where engines collect good duties and others wrongly stuck. This is where Cranky, the most grumpiest crane on the harbor, works. The four friends arrive at the harbor. Wow, yeah, Percy. This is a pretty nice harbor. Where can I start my shunting, Thomas? Well, there are trucks on Cranky. Yes, side. That crane over there. They're in shunting. Can you do that for me? Yes, sir. I mean, Thomas. Wait, Percy. Percy, stop. Percy, look out. Wow. <laughs> You stupid, reckless little engine. You could have caused an accident. I'm sorry. It's my first time on the island, man. And I uh, don't give me that rubbish. You know very well that I need to take care of the stocks because I'm the only crane here. Don't make the things even worse for me. Well, how rude. Yep, that's cranky to you. But it's nice and good hearted sometimes. Come on, Percy. We got some something to do.
does it to you, and all is fine. We just need Percy to shun those trucks, Stitch. Now I took out. Come on, come on! Ow! Who does he think he is, bumping us around like that? Let's do it now! Ow! Ow! Help! Ah, I can't stop! And Percy crashed into the sea. The truck splashed, and Percy was dangling dangerously down the line. Luckily, his driver and farmer Lilo had drawn clear, but Percy was dangling dangerously. Percy yelled Thomas, and he raced to his friend's rescue. Help! Help me! yelled Percy. Luckily, Thomas got there to save him and pull his friend back to safety. Oh, that's just great. You flew the very important cargo that was supposed to go to the mainland. Oh, I hate my life. Hee <laughs> what a crapshoot little the shafter. <laughs> Don't mind them, person. They're just being silly. It's not your fault. But Percy was upset. He raced back to the ship. Poor Percy. Well, guys. Let's finish the shunting and rescue the trucks. When Thomas arrives at the sheds, Percy wasn't there. Huh? Where's Percy? The little shunter? I don't know. We haven't seen him all day. Oh man, it was his first day. Come on guys, we need to find him. And Thomas soon sticks up. They pop along the rail, looking for Percy. Then Tom saw a side in that they haven't seen before and set off to find Percy. The path started to end with bushes. Thomas was scared. Suddenly he saw two bushes and a little green engine behind him. It was Percy. Percy, I'm glad you're okay. What happened to you? I crashed. I'm sorry, Thomas. I didn't mean to cause that. Percy, it's not your fault. It was a mistake, okay? Come on. Let's go back to the sheds. And Thomas set off with a, ve with a very tired out Percy. The two backed up to the sheds, and Percy quickly fell asleep. The next morning, the fat controller arrived. He was not happy with Percy, what had happened. Percy, the small engine. What happened yesterday was an accident. But I do not tolerate engines running away without leaving the clue. You got us worried. I'm sorry, sir. Hi. I didn't mean to. It, I was just nervous be that I was going to get in trouble because of that accident I did. I know, I know. Percy, I know you're upset, but tell you what, since that, since you had a really rough day, how would you like to have a job pulling the mail train? The mail train? What's that? It's a bunch of letters that you deliver through the island. That sounds interesting. Of course, I would love to. So the next day at the harbor, Percy and Leo got to pull the mail train. This was a very nice change for Percy. And as he passed through the countryside, he thought he was going to like yellow and silver very well. And that's the story of how a little Queen Tangenton lived on the rail on the Northwestern Railway.